your talk was about sulforaphane, if I'm saying that right. Explain what that is and exactly what that does in, in layman's terms, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah, so sulforaphane, you did say it correctly, is a, uh, it's known as a glucosinolate. And it's found primarily in cruciferous vegetables. Mm -hmm. So broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale. Those have sulforaphane precursors in there. And, um, and so researchers have really looked at the cruciferous vegetables as a vegetable family that has some very interesting chemoprotective benefits. And the reason these um, cruciferous vegetables do is because they have this precursor material called glu glucoraphanin that gets converted into sulforaphane okay. inside the plant. And so sulforaphane is known as a glucosinolate. Mm -hmm. We hear a lot about, when you mention broccoli, we hear a lot about its anti-cancer effects. So what exactly is going on with that uh, compound that does that to cancer? Yeah, so again, um, the glucosinolates have been the, the real subject matter of a tremendous amount of research as it relates to anti-cancer effects and chemo prevention. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> the um, sulforaphane that's in these plants actually goes into our body and signals our body to protect itself against um, foreign compounds, um, toxic compounds. So it's got a, uh, a multitude of effects that it actually elicits in the body um, from improving detoxification to improving your antioxidant response to um, just general cellular protection. Um, it recycles glutathione, which is our master kind of antioxidant in our body. Um, so it's a really, um, I, I would say it's a multi-purpose molecule that helps in a number of ways to kind of uh, move you away from your oncogenic potential.